Hmm. Anywho, let's make it daytime real quick. First thing you're going to notice is that I have a bunch of NPCs that are out here. Um, you've got the town archer, you've got town guards, and then you've got stuff like vendors, and eventually I'm going to get the navigation crystal working. I haven't really got that one working all the way. Like, There's a way you can actually get it to work. Um, this is craft heraldry. You see these banners everywhere, that's what that's from. And we're going to go in here. I'm going to see some of the armors that are available, some of the weapons that are available. And then I'll show you the uh, NPCs. They actually have, um, I made this guy into a trader, and basically you're going to use the coins that come from uh, metallurgy to go ahead and uh, be able to buy stuff from here so you have to actually work for some stuff <coughs> it's just really here for show to show you can do it um, then you have um, same imp same kind of deal buy stuff from him all that good stuff and here is the bank that's across the street and across the street at the bank got some pretty cool stuff going on in here We've got a bank. You can actually have a bank system where you can, you know, put all your goodies in there. It's pretty dang awesome. You can upgrade them, all that cool stuff, unlock more tabs. And this guy is my currency guy for um, what soon will be the server. We'll get the server up and running here soon. And it just goes through. The, dona the donation currency that we'll be using is rubies and you'll be getting rubies by you know you donate so much you get x amount of rubies hadn't really went into detail with that so what you're going to do is you're going to use blueprints this is just for my server blueprints will give you the ability to have certain npcs um in your town or whatever then we'll have plans so that way if you want some of our guys to be able to build you certain things you can request it with plans you can be like hey I need you know a server builder to build me something cool and you know you use a ruby to get it same thing with letter it's so you can get NPCs and stuff like that and then you've got some cool uh, armor that you can't make um, in the game um, it's stuff that you can buy from us it's the prototype helmet and actually right now I'm wearing the assassins stuff so I'll show you guys the assassin stuff it's pretty cool looking pretty cool little looking armor it's not bad alright and then we have of course the chicken sword I mean it's a, it's a chicken sword anyway but back to the mod some of the cooler things that you can do is with nopes with Nopes's mod, um, it comes with its own custom NPC armors. It's pretty cool. It comes with its own weapons, and then it comes with you know other silly stuff that you can have with it. Then something that's really cool is you have an NPC pather tool, a wand, a cloner, and then an actual mob spawner. So with the NPC wand tool, what you could do is you could come over here and say. I want to go ahead and make this guy. So I've made him. Then I can go in. I can change his name. Change it into, let's say, we want it to be a pony. So, bam, look, it's a pony. And you can actually go in and be like, oh, okay, well, I don't like that pony. You can actually select your own textures. It's a full list of all the different textures and stuff like that. And then you got your uh, capes. If, you know, he had a cape, you can actually define the color tint to him. Um, then with your stats, you've got, you know, your health, your aggro radius, blah, blah, blah. I mean, you can read it for yourself. Then you've got your AI to where, you know, you get to basically tell them what they're doing. Um, this is a really important tool for if you want to make your own dungeons and, you know, basically make the game more like an MMO. Um, you've got their armor slots, how much um, XP they drop, what their drop chance rate is. Then you've got roles. You've got trader, which you can go in and edit and say what they want to trade. 
um, you've got follower, you can hire them for so many days and they do certain tasks. You've got bank, you've got transporter. This is the one I'm, that I'm working on right now is transporter to figure all the intricacies out. And you've got lines, you've got factions, which this is really cool. You can make your own uh, factions, which I've already done. I made the New Bark Town. That's basically what this is, is New Bark Town. And it's pretty freaking awesome. So let's go ahead and delete that. So basically, you can outfit them with whatever you have already in the game, mod-wise. Um, as you can tell, there's some um, hints from like BiblioCraft. So there's some of the lamps from BiblioCraft, and the biggest thing that I like about it, um, this particular mod compilation, is it's not about technology. There's no tech things getting in the way because some of us want to have a fantasy experience and that's basically what I've done and I like it that way um, other cool thing is they have meals that you have to actually eat What it, basically what I did with this mod is I tried to make it as much like worm online as possible where you have to eat meals you know certain meals give you certain um, not really XP boost but like hunger boost so that way you don't have to eat as often and stuff like that and then of course you've got alcohol um, you can read all the different stats with the alcohol you can actually brew, brew your own alcohol in this particular mod it's pretty cool and with the thirst mod you've you've got to actually drink water you know and then the other cool thing with the um, having to eat meals and stuff like that um, you've got the chance to um, get more involved in cooking you can't just like throw this you know throw the steak in the furnace and be done with it it's more intuitive like you've got to take a pot to make soup and a skillet to do certain things and there's all kinds of different combinations of foods that you can make and i think it's going to lend to a better game experience in my opinion but anyway that's some of the stuff that's in pam's um Harvest Craft, and it's got the, like I said, that plus the Hunger Mod Overhaul really extends some of the gameplay for you. Um, here's some more stuff from BiblioCraft. Um, these awesome new tables that they added. And then Jamie's Furniture Mod, of course, gives you the ability to sit down in the chairs. It's awesome. You just right click to get off of it. Um, and then over here I've added some NPCs that you know they're gonna sell you know different things and stuff like that and it's really easy you just go in go to trader hit edit then you know drag and drop what you want in there alright that's these guys alright and another mod that we're gonna look at is the chains mod that comes with the mod pack and that is this mod right here basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna craft um, chain once you craft chain you connect it to the um, the uh, let me see what it's called real quick it's called the iron chain elevator and basically you just do all that and then you throw on a good old-fashioned uh, lever then you just hit it up and then you just right click and it'll take you up and up and up and that's how I made this uh, room so many different levels or this particular building and then you just you know woo, all this cool stuff and you just get back in you know do your thing just trying to show off some of the stuff and also with Jamie's furniture mod it's got these cool blinds so if you're tired of you know light getting in or anything like that or you just want something aesthetically to look different you know bam there you go and then here's some more of bibliocraft you've got the shelves with the the nice bottles everywhere and then another thing with bibliocraft that they've added are the printing press to basically make your own books and then of course the bookshelves with all the books and something that I don't think a lot of people have hit on is the new thing with uh, BiblioCraft is the books actually go where you tell them to go. Like, 
if you move the books differently, you know, between them, they actually show up on the shelf like that. That's that's really cool. And you know, I've got this guy. He's got books and more. This is going to highlight some of the stuff that's in the um, mod pack. You've got herb book, which comes with mind fantasy. There are some new herbs that are out in the world that'll help you make stuff. Um, then we've got the camping guide that basically tells you about you know the camping mod and everything, and that goes over stuff like how to make the camping bag, how to make the um, the how to make the tent and all that good stuff. Then with better storage, you've got um, backpacks that are 3D, and I will show you real quick. Type this in. With backpack, you've got the Alright, and then we go to camping, camping bag. Alright, so real quick, I'm going to show you the camping bag. What you do is you'll define the hotkey, whatever you define it as, and then you're able to put it there. Now, the cool thing with this mod is it actually renders on your back. So you've got one that's on your back. It's pretty neat. And for the next one, um, what you have to do is not have a chess piece on and do this next one. So what you'll do is you place the bag on the ground. You'll right click it and do it like you normally would. But in order to pick it up, you'll shift, right click to destroy it. And when you destroy it, it actually goes on your back. It takes up the chess slot. So again, another 3D bag that you'll have. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Alright, let's fix that real quick. And that was oak. Alright. <coughs> now to get into some of the other stuff that I'm sure you guys want to know about the mod. Why is, why is my mod pack awesome? I really think that with the addition of all the other mods that it's given the game more of what it should be Minecraft, you know, not having these extra tech mods and stuff like that. It's just, you know, some simple stuff. So let's go over here. Taking a minute. Yeah, another thing with Mind Fantasy, they actually make it to where um, the different things that you uh, wear, in fact, um, make it to where you run faster or slower, you know, lighter armor makes you, you know, faster, and some some armor will actually block, block your ability to sprint. Alright, next thing that I wanted to go over, something that I hadn't touched on yet, and that's the um, Simply Horses thing. And basically with the Simple Horses, let me find the different parts here. You got your lasso, I'm gonna need that, and I'm gonna need these harnesses, and we're just gonna start with a wagon. Alright. And let's get us a horse. So we're gonna be using We'll use a Mustang. Alright. And we're gonna also need a saddle. Go ahead and make it day again. Alright, so the first thing is you'll throw your wagon down. Bam! There's a you know a really kick ass wagon. You can actually ride on it and all that good stuff. So let's go ahead and spawn us a Mustang. Go ahead and throw that on there. Actually, let's take that off. And let's put on the harness. Well, well, we've got him attached here, so let's see if this works. This is actually my first time trying to do this without using a Clydesdale, because usually you have to use a Clydesdale. Hmm. Let's just go ahead and just saddle it and ride it like regular. So what you'll do is you'll shift, right click, and you'll be on top. You don't need the lasso, so there you go. And these horses are pretty big. And then you have to actually configure, you know, how you want the horse to do everything. And 
there's some you know different controls for it but it's a horse I mean it's a friggin horse and it, they actually are I think a lot better than the horses that you get in 162 so let's woe that down shift right click and let me get some Clydesdales out and I'll show you how the um, horse cart stuff works so let's go back over here let's spawn us the Clydesdale bam let's go ahead and throw the harness on them and let's just let's keep it there let's spawn us another Clydesdale let's throw a harness on him now there's a combination eh, there's an actual control you have to use um, gotta remember what it is <coughs> let's see here lasso mode is M let's just change that to that and that so it's going to be semi cooling. All right, train hook. What you want to do is hook these two up together so they're a unit. All right. Then you want to click on the back here. Oh, a town guard doesn't like him. Okay. Apparently, the town guard does not like. that so yay <laughs> alrighty that, that was a shocker for me alright let's click him again and let's click that and they're together just throw that down let's throw it down there what we'll do is we'll go up here click on the back there and then click on the front of this and then we're going to go ahead and get on it I don't think that lasso got that last part got it good so let's try it again click click being so difficult wasn't being difficult earlier there we go and then you just would get on it of course and of course it's being an ass to me shift click maybe Sh oh there it is and then there you go alright apparently they're not hooked on good enough I gotta take the reins, so I gotta hit, gotta hit a button. So let's go here to options, controls. Let's take the reins. Uh, take the reins is left bracket. All right, and I'll go ahead and move it out. Oh, that's switching seats. There we go, taking the reins, and now. I'm driving with my goods so I can take them wherever I need to take my goods pretty nifty if you ask me I think it'll be very beneficial alright let's go ahead and stop that and then we're gonna have to change seats hit F5 here comes the tricky part getting off these things you have to shift right click again to get off of them and then if you want to take the horses and undo them what you'll do is you'll click and then just move them wherever you want to but the quickest way to do it is to right right click that and take that off the harness is off and then they should disembark I'm not sure. I'm still working on Simply Horses. It's, it's still a new one for me. So let's go ahead and kill these horses because I don't want them for later. 
Just go ahead and kill him. Why not? Alright, got that one killed. And Mr. Mustang, you must die too. Yes, I'm hurting the poor random. And also, you get a bonus while you're on the horseback whenever you're fighting. It's pretty cool, I think. Let's go ahead and destroy the... Um, wagon real quick. Alright. Got the wagon. But anyway, you can see that there's a lot of potential. Um, what I'll show you next is the crafting heraldry, because a lot of people want to know exactly how many different things that are in that. So I'm going to show you guys that real quick. Mm -hmm, mm -mm -mm. Crafting heraldry. Where are you? Uh, I think it's under decorations. Yep, there it is. It's under decorations. So what you'll need is your scroll, then either your banner or your wall banner. We're going to do...